windmill. As Dutch as tulips and clogs. They've been around for centuries. When you think about it, these quaint examples of cottage industry are about as eco-friendly as power generation gets. Clean, cheap and low impact. Now there's a personal windmill and it'll slash your electricity bill. With wind energy gathering international momentum, the Dutch are searching for new ways to harness it. Right now, they're on the brink of making wind energy a part of our everyday lives. Banks of wind turbines like these, with their massive blades, generate enough pollution-free electricity to power small towns. Germany alone creates more than 14,000 megawatts of wind power annually. Just one megawatt is enough to supply about 300 average homes. The drawback is that wind turbines require large amounts of space and they're noisy. So the last place you'd expect to find a wind turbine would be in an urban setting, dotted amongst the rooftops of your town or city, right? Wrong. And it's all thanks to this mini version, appropriately known as Turby. There are 10 prototypes like this on the Netherlands skyline. And with the wind speed of about 20 kilometers per hour, which is a mild breeze, the turby can pump out enough energy to power an average house. Unlike the larger wind turbine with their propeller-like mechanisms, turby spins on a vertical axis. This means it's much smaller and there's less mechanical stress. It also means the cylindrical turbine can operate regardless of wind direction. Unlike conventional propeller blades, which must move to stay facing into the wind. We got you up early. Yeah. <laughs> Turby is the brainchild of Martin Seidler, who worked closely with the aerodynamics experts at Delft Technical University. We were talking to the university before Turby. We done some other experiments with small wind turbines. And uh, when we came to the concept of Turby, we needed to have the aerodynamic design done. So we went back to the university and asked if they could help us out on that point. What they came up with is a quiet turbine. Its makers claim up close it's about as loud as an air conditioning unit. And for close neighbours, it'll sound like a humming fridge. What about noise? Is that a factor? Noise is a big factor because we wanted to put it in the urban environment, on buildings. Uh, it shouldn't bother people. By now it's so good that you won't hear it at about 20 metres distance. In an urban landscape, buildings and the spaces between them create vertical currents. Just what Turby is designed to use. The trick is finding the right position. Too low and most of the air passes over it. Raise the blades and they're sitting right in the middle of the flow and travel two and a half times faster. Bottom line, Turby can cut your electricity bill by as much as two thirds. Even better, if you're a low energy user, the excess energy produced will be absorbed into the power grid and credited to your account. Is this going to abolish energy bills forever? Not yet. Uh, in the future, maybe. Um, I personally think that you need to add a little solar power uh, and wind power combined. Then you can get a uh, zero house uh, design. Um, at this moment, the inverter system of the Turby is uh, grid connected, so you have to have a connection to the grid. In the future, we will develop another system for standalone applications. Turby can be set up on a long or short tower and broken down for portability. Installation takes about half a day and total cost should be somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars. So when are we going to see Turby on our roofs? You can see them on roofs in Holland. Uh, there are ten Turbys uh, up and running now. By the end of the year, we hope to have 25 units running and then we start the international market.